What's up guys, it's Gunzel and welcome back to Proceed 2023 for episode number 38 of the World's Name, which is Black Spoke Career Mode. Uh, I'm recording the intro more than a week after recording the entire video, so have fun. And we begin the episode with the queen stage of this race between Pola de la Viana and the Alto de Langueiro. I am terrified. It's a plus four for Max Paul, still on the fitness peak. Uh, I would have loved to have a plus five. Can't complain though with Luke Plapp. J Vine and Sebastian Bowick having positive days, mainly the latter with plus fives for both Luke and Sebi. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I am scared of this stage. I am genuinely scared of this stage. This is make or break it, because there's only one more mountain stage after this. So if I don't do well, uh, the GC could be all over, because I'll show you the general classification if you've missed the previous episodes. Michelanda leads La Vuelta by one singular second ahead of Romain Barlet with the final race day coming up in a uh, short of 106 kilometers. Tobias first seems set for P3 right now, but there is one time trial and the next stage. Max Paul and Antonio Tiberi are going to fight for, I think, the white jersey. I believe it's going to be a bit more difficult for us to uh, go and reach any high position, although the leadership has been quite strange whilst on this Volta. So everything, I think, is yet to play for, um, but the podium is the aim for, uh, for Max. And the good day of the team... Um, helps me believe that maybe, just maybe, we got our chance. We're in the penultimate climb of the stage, the Alto del Cordal. Uh, one thing that worries me is that Max is losing energy. Uh, I guess it is normal, I suppose. Um, Matthew Wolf is still here. My, my, my driller. Um, the breakaway should win today because they've got more than a five minute lead heading into the final 20 kilometers of this stage. Uh, if Max could like not get dropped, that would be uh, much much appreciated. I'll have J Vine protect Max Paul. Luke Plap protects uh, Wick. Yep. Come on, lads. Come on, lad. Don't get dropped. Don't get dropped. I can see that there is a line here, and I can see that we're about to cross it. And Max is gonna get dropped, isn't he? That that right there. That's a that's a that's a dropped break. And let's begin. Spain's most feared ascension, l'Alto del Angliru, 12 kilometers at an average of 10%, knowing that there is one kilometer that is basically flat. Immediately, Ineos paces through Carlos Verona. Roma Barda attacks. P3 of the GC is on the move, following Roma Bard, uh, sorry, following Carlos Verona and Fabian, Fabian Dubé. Yeah, sure, why not? Fabian Dubé can do whatever he wants because he is the one and only Fabian Dubé. Uh, in the meantime, Max is right next to Marc Hirschi. Uh, he's trying, just trying to stay alive, eh? Trying to uh, do what the, the BGs told him. And it is uh, to stay alive. Ha, 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 ha. It's like the um, hiccup in um, the, the train here. Because Jay Vine has just been dumb. Jay? Jay? Jay! Fuck's sake. I'm losing too much ground here, but we should be able to come back. We do have uh, a nice support system here yeah, with uh, Sebastian, Max and, and Luke and even Jai who, who's been quite good today. Um, I'm worried that we're going to lose time. I think this is typically the kind of climb that does not suit Max but I'm not sure there's any type of climb that really suits him here more than anyone else in this welter. He is one of the weakest rider there are in the mountain aspect especially considering that he's just been dropped. He's going to come back though. Victor Angelotti the uh, champion of Monaco, also getting dropped. Then Martinez has left, has taken off. Where's Roman? Uh, he's not in the first group, so I'm going to su suppose that he's still with us. Yep, there he is. Okay, cool. That's okay. This is criminally difficult. This is so, so steep. Max Paul just fighting nails, teeth, fucking fingers. I don't know. He's just, he's fighting through it. He's giving his all 2.2 kilometers. Everyone here has collapsed. And I'll tell you what, Max has not. But he's got no energy. But he has not collapsed. And that is that is my guy. Anyone important in, in E8? Where's Dan Martinez? Dan Martinez is going to make a very, very good comeback here. Antonio Tiberi as well is going to do very well. Sadly, I think I'm going to end up being the big loser of today's stage here. And at least I'm not going to lose more than like two minutes, which I was scared I was going to. So, you know what? I think I'm going to take this. It's a win for Frank Bonamour atop Langliru. 
uh, I had to say with a French accent because it's a French win. That's uh, that's written in my contract. Antonio Tiberi is going to finish slightly ahead of us. We're actually going to be able to drop Mikel and Adrian Bardet. I'll tell you what, it's not that bad a stage for Max Ball. It's not that bad a stage. It's going to be P20 for him. But it's not that bad a result for the white jersey. And the GC is closer than ever because... Uh, while Mikel and Roman Bardet were not able to um, separate themselves, both Antonio and Max closed up to the Spaniard. And the big loser actually today is not me, it's Tobias Foss, who drops from P3 only 50 seconds behind Bardet uh, to 417 behind Mikel and P7. <sighs> Alright, up next is the time trial. It's not the greatest of days for uh, Max Paul, sadly. Alright, we're gonna go 73 with Max. Uh, I think I found a rhythm with Luke Plapp and Sebastian Berwick. I think I'm happy with it. So hopefully I can limit the losses uh, on someone like Antonio Tiberi, who's most likely going to bully me, but mostly Dan Martinez, who could make a massive comeback today. The same applies to Juan Ayuso. Oh, Antonio Tiberi is having a stinker. Antonio Tiberi is a minute behind me already. That is not something I expected from the Italian, but I'm not going to complain. Then Martinez, however, on the other hand, is uh, taking a minute on me right now. Uh, cool. Ayuso, eh, it's alright, 45 seconds, it's a 15 second, it's a 20 second uh, deficit so far from uh, Max Paul on uh, Juanito Ayuso. 1.2 kilometers to go there. Uh, we are in the Mirador de Saro. That is uh, the climb that will make it or break it. In the case of Dan Martinez, it's definitely make it as he takes the lead. In uh, in this time trial, Max is going to lose out on his red just 100 meters from the line, but across the line, it is a minute 23 behind, so it is a loss on Dan Martinez. We are going to lose 4 seconds on Juan Ayuso, which I believe is actually alright. And I think there's a world where Dan Martinez just becomes the red jersey. It is a 3 minute loss for Antonio Tiberi, we're going to take the white jersey. Bardet loses 2.06. Mikel Landa is going to lose as well. Don't, are, are you telling me that Mikel Landa and Bardet are going to be in the same second again? Um, alright, Bardet will be in red, 156, okay, Bardet won't be in red, Mikelanda is the red jersey, comes the end of this time trial, but the gaps are slim. Less than a minute to separate the top four, with five stages to go. It's gonna be interesting to see how the, the Vuelta now plays out, because there's only one mountain stage on stage 20, so far we're gonna have some hilly stage and I think a flat one. Uh, but with less than 59 seconds, I'm, I must attack. This is a dream opportunity for Max Paul. Nick Schultz has uh, managed to be in the breakaway. Uh, however, he is currently undergoing the process of being killed. Uh, that is due to the rhythm of Arkea Samzik and Kenya Lissond and Frank Bonamour. Yeah, not much I can do. I, I'm, I'm getting battered here. And this is a display of team spirit. Because... Max Paul could have died many, many moons ago. But he's... Holding on to day life, the same goes to Matthew Walsh. We still have a breakaway, and I think said breakaway is going to win with Patrick Bevin, Frank Bonamour, and Robin Carpenter. Bonamour going for a second win on his Vuelta after winning at the Anglio. Um, then we've got a group of Timon Aronsman, uh, Eddie De Preto, Santiago Umba, Mark Hirschi, and Rafa Maika. Not sure they'll do anything, but uh, yeah, th this has been very difficult for Max, but he managed to hold on, and uh, I'm, I'm proud of him, you know, and I'm proud of the entire team for sticking with him. We won't win the stage. That goes for the breakaway. Bonamour leads Bevin, leads Carpenter. To be fair, they're all dead. Uh, and the peloton is not yet. Matthew Walls, however, will not be able to fight for the win. I did think I could maybe, just maybe, pull him until the end to get a few points. That is not going to happen. Uh, I thought there was going to be a flamme rouge. There isn't. Patrick Bevin claims the stage in Urense here in Portugal, ahead of Frank Bonamour. Robin Carpenter. Age de Preto, Santiago Umba, Mark Hershey, Matej Mohoric, Dan Martinez is actually going to do quite well and strengthen his lead in the green jersey. Um, but Max Paul finishes with the best riders, and that is all I could have asked from him today. Green stage on this uh, 18th instrument of La Vuelta between uh, Moss and Porto Matoginos. Uh, Matogin? Is it like the. <coughs> Sorry. Is the pronunciation of this word similar to Bruno Fernandes? So it would be. Matosinhos. That's horrendous. That's Brazilian. Well, the Brazilian is Portuguese. Am I correct? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Also, for those who've seen the video of Bruno Fernandes, or oh, sorry, Bruno Morch Fernandes, uh, pronouncing his name on the Premier League Twitter account, 
And this man just lives for cameras. You could have just said your first and last name, but no, you've added your three middle names. We won't be fighting for the sprint today, as uh, the win is in the breakaway. Patrick Bevan with the back to back. God, that is the finish. All eight riders literally on the same line. Uh, but yeah, we're going to fight for nothing. 36 riders left in the first group. How, how has that happened? How, how is this group getting dropped? Tell you what, I, I made the train just to avoid that situation. I'm really glad. Wait, what the fuck's going on? The red jersey's dropped as well now. How in the... What? Are any spacing with it? Wait. Oh, I'm so confused. Um, I'm t Fuck it. Everyone's printing it. There's a gap with the peloton. This is nuts. This is this this has the potential to be mental. Did we get twenty seconds on the peloton? We did not. We 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 did not. The shame. The shame. Someone bridged. Uh, I think it was um. Around forty. Yeah, it was around Tiberi. I think both the group kind of merged. A bit disappointed by that. Could have taken uh what thirty seconds on Mikalanda. Still a minute down with three stages left. Not liking this lack of fitness from Max Ball uh, the, uh, over the past three days. It was it, it was on stages that didn't matter, so I'm cool with that. But he's lost his fitness peak, and that I'm not cool with. I'm really not cool with. This is horrendous. I keep trying to send Matthew Walls in the breakaway, and every time the peloton chases me down because I'm dangerous for the point classification, which I understand. But in that case, why isn't it teams that are actually fighting? For that classification that are chasing me down. Why is it FDG? Huh? What is Jake Stewart gonna try and do things? Also, Fong Bonamo is P2 now. Patrick Bevan is P4. Yeah, we need to do something. I cannot get to the front of the peloton. I'm trying. I, I swear I'm trying. Every time I create a space, someone else takes it. Um, it's, it's, it's quite infuriating as a matter of fact. I can't lie. Like, every time there's a space, it just gets completely closed. I feel like I'm just facing Max Verstappen. And it's just horrendous defending from, from the first to the start. Well, from the first from the start to finish, sorry. Uh, Matthew Bostock is going to try and uh, lead here. Uh, but we're going to get blocked here. Oh, because the Donny from um, from Arkea actually died. That's kind of weird. Uh, Matthew Waltz is in the midst of everyone here. Do not tell me that Tobias Bayer is going to win a sprint stage on the, tour, on the World Tour. No, he's not. Uh, well, it's not me either, it's Jordi Mouse, ahead of Milan Menten and Matthew Walls. Okay, what does that mean? Jordi Mouse moves back into green, but Matthew Walls is not far off. I think our welter hopes are well and truly over. Max Paul with a zero today, and it's it's a, it's an 88 fitness zero, meaning that it is no good start. And I, uh, I, I think it's the end. I think it's the end. Um, I'm even worried for my white jersey. I Cannot lie. Uh, the, the dream would have lasted. The dream lasted a few few stages. The one thing I'll say though is that despite most likely losing what I currently have with Max, uh, we're going to get the green jersey back with Matthew Walls. He's in the breakaway. Don't think anyone is going to sprint here. I, I managed to actually defeat the the, the peloton into uh, letting um, into letting them Matt go in the breakaway. That did make sense. That I'm pretty sure I've got the pronouns and like the order of the words was wrong, but you got what I mean. We'll have one more stage to defend a five point lead, and there there are twenty points at La Coatia, so it means that Mister Dan Martinez cannot be green jersey unless he wins over in Madrid. Uh, but it's hope that he doesn't. Uh, energy wise, it's 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 already quite difficult. <laughs> it's, already, it's already a struggle. Um, but we'll try and make it work. There's a crash, a rider from Trek just hit the deck. Uh, it was Gianluca Brambia. But uh, yeah, no, Max is, uh, Max is gone. <laughs> Max is gone. Uh, I got sent to the shops in the uh, Alto de Peña Caballera. And if this is what a third cat does to me, I cannot cannot wait to see what uh, La Garganta and what La Coatilla are going to do to, uh, to the poor white jersey of this world. Uh, we're going to lose everything on the final day here. Well, Max got dropped even before the summit. Matthew Wolf has more energy than Max Paul. That's saying a lot. Max is going to take the wheel of J Vine. We're going to try and recover, try to rest, but there's barely any downhill. It's just pure pain that is about to unleash here for uh, for poor Max. There's no way I can bring home a positive result 
pretty sure that Jay could have the legs to go and win the stage today. I'll try and stay with uh with Max until the end though, because this is what uh what he deserves. He's had a, he's he's run a great welter. He's been an absolute hero from the first to the final kilometer. Probably could have done better had I, well, not favorite favorized uh, favorized sorry uh, the um well first J Vine then Finn Fisher Black. He was the third wheel of what was a uh, a very dysfunctional bike, we'll say. But it was a bike nonetheless. Tiberias attacked with Dan Martinez and Romain Bardet. Mikel Landa forced to pace on his own. J Vine and Max Paul in tatters. Fuck, and they attacked me from so far out as well. Like, they could have just waited for a bit. But no, 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 dead. They're going for the belly of the beast. Right now, I'm deep. I'm in deep, deep shit. I, I can say. Alter's dead, Chern is dead. If I'm already dropped with 11k to go, I am not going to go far in this Walter. Max Paul is done. The end of the dream is there. I'm gonna have um, Jay just... I'm gonna let him have fun. He deserves to uh, have a proper send-off for what will be his final mountain stage with this team. He won't have won many things, poor Jay. He would have crashed many times, poor Jay. But, um... Yeah, that's, that's it. Dan Martinez is on his way to potentially win the Vuelta. Roman Bardet has exploded. Roman Bardet is going to lose La Vuelta on the final day. He's actually behind Jay Vine right now, which is shocking. Uh, Max is losing the top... He's losing the top 10. Max is going to be 10th. Max is going to be... No, sorry. He's going to be 9th. He's going to be 9th. My apologies. Fuck. Also, I'm not really sure what kind of drugs um, Frank Bonobo is on, but they are good. Because this man is fighting with Mikel Landa. <laughs> Anton Tiberi is there. More than seven minutes ahead of Max Ball. Simon Yates wins at La Coatia. Mikel Landa is going to win La Vuelta Espana. After the 70th try, I guess. Um, we, we, we exploded today. We absolutely exploded today. The two biggest losers of the day. Myself and Roman Barley. I haven't seen the state of the GC, but I can tell you that I'm more than 8 minutes behind Simon Yates. <laughs> and I think that alone, that says it all. Oh, fucking hell, we're P8. We are P8. Roman Barley has lost the podium. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, we had one job. We had one job. We saved on the angle route, but I could tell that it was short. I could tell that it was... Very close. Two days. That's what I liked. I liked two days with Max in his fitness peak. Yeah, I think the final week was <laughs> one too many for Max. Minus five for him today. Um, yeah. Let's just try to win the stage. Come on. I don't want eight kilometers of this Grand Tour season. I don't want eight kilometers of this welter. We are preparing the sprint here in the streets of Madrid. And we have managed to drop our train again. Oh, we've dropped it, dropped it as well. Okay, I need to make a second train here on the left. I guess... Um, oh, this is, this is shit. Because now everyone's moved to the left side, meaning that now I'm stuck in the middle. Uh, we are done. We've already lost the green jersey on points uh, at the uh, intermediate sprint here. Come on, Nichols. Yes, okay. Uh, we've somewhat recovered, and by somewhat, I mean we've 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 we're barely here, but we've made something. Two point six k to go. If Matthew Walls can have a clear run into the line here, go left for fuck's sake, like, Nick. There's so much space on the left. Why aren't you using the left? Uh, we yeah, we're done. It's a shit Walter. It's a it's a horrendous episode. We've lost everything. Lilian Calmejan has won the final sprint in Madrid. I got I got blocked to, 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 to everywhere, literally every single place. I'm gonna lose the the red the, the red jersey. I mean I've lost the red jersey. I'm gonna lose the green one by like ten points. I hate this game. And here are your podiums. It's a win for Calmejan ahead of Milan Menten and Jake Stewart. Mikel Landa wins La Vuelta. Max Paul finishes in P8. I hate this. A mountain wise, he got it has dominated from head and shoulders as well as knees and toes. Jordi Moose wins the green jersey, head of Matthew Wilson, Dan Martinez, well done. Tiberi is the best in Rada, well done, I hope you're happy. Team Sky is the best team. How am I 23 minutes down? Who the fuck did I lose?
because I was 40 seconds behind. What happened to my team? All right, well, uh, end of the episode, end of this world tower. Zero stages. Um, zero distinctive classifications. Overall, the uh, definition of the word choke. So yeah, not not fun. No, not really fun. Um, nevertheless, that you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, then please do leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content. I hope you enjoyed as well the content with Benji. There'll be some more uh, Swift content throughout the coming weeks and months. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy that as well. Uh, but I'll see you in the very very near future. My name is Guillaume. Have an amazing day. Pass me the funk, get your funk on girl and don't you ever let